Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out the Force Awakens Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures Game Core Set. And that is quite the mouthful. Now, this game is compatible with all of the other X-Wing ships, so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, breaking the game if you decide to mix and match. This is basically just the core set reskinned to represent the new movie, The Force Awakens. Uh, the game still comes with an X-Wing and two TIE Fighters, just like in the original core set, but they've been skinned, again, to represent The Force Awakens movie. So this is a T-70 X-Wing, and these are uh, First Order TIE Fighters. They look different, too, and I have to say, these TIE Fighters just, they look so sleek and so cool. Like, they're completely black except for the solar panels, which are white. I just, I love that. This, this paint job is amazing. Love it. And then, of course, you've got your X-Wing here. Looks a little different from your standard X-Wing, like the S-Foils. Um, aren't uh, complete circles, they're half circles from the looks of it. The, the S-foils are right next to the cockpit. Uh, anyway, uh, as far as what all comes with this, again, uh, mostly everything from the original core set um, that you would get uh, comes in this one as well. I mean, you've got your bases, you've got your uh, maneuver dials, you've got various tokens here. Some of these are specific for missions. Um, you've got your um, ship bases here with your uh, firing arcs and, and different abilities. There's a new Talon roll that is now available, sort of like a K-turn. Uh, but this X-Wing, for example, could do, say, a uh, Talon roll. And let's say this player were to do that, and he'd move along like this and then rotate like that. So it's sort of like a K-turn, except you're using this template as opposed to a straight template. Uh, you've got Initiative uh, token, and there's a slight difference in the rolls there. In the original rulebook, um, the Imperial player had initiative if you had the same squad points and the pilot skill between two ships were the same. In this game, uh, players actually roll a die for initiative, so there's a slight difference there. And again, the initiative token is pretty cool. You've got your target locks, uh, shield, that's another new thing. Um, TIE fighters in this game have shields, which is pretty cool. I mean, that normally TIE fighters don't have shields, but uh, these ones do. Uh, asteroids, you've got uh, everything, again, everything that you'd expect to find in the core set. And if you guys want to see what the inside of the box looks like, I can quickly show you that. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, don't mind those cards in there. Um, I bought some expansions, and I just simply took out um, the... Uh, the unique pilots and put them in the box because, uh, well, just, just copies of the unique pilots because you can't have two unique pilots of the same name on the board. For example, you can't have two Poe Dameron's. I bought two TIE Fighter expansions, so you can't have two uh, Omega Leaders here on the board. So I put uh, the duplicates from the second expansion in here. But anyway, getting back to this, and I'll, I'll cover these later but uh, in, in other videos, but uh, that's basically what comes in this particular set. And what I'd like to do now is sort of read off some of these cards to you, just so you can see what some of the pilots uh, can do. I guess we'll start with Poe Dameron here. All right, so he has a pilot skill of eight and the stats three, two, three, three. Um, so I think the X-Wing in the original game had uh, two hull as opposed to three hull. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think that this ship has more oomph to it. And his ability is, while attacking or defending, if you have a focus token, you may change one of your focus results to a hit or uh, evade result, which is pretty cool. And you can do the focus target lock or boost, which is also pretty interesting. I think the X-Wing in the core game uh, did not have the boost action, only uh, focus and target lock. So this X-Wing is like way more advanced. You've got Blue Ace here. Um, you've got a pilot skill of five, again, same stats. When performing a boost action, you may use the uh, one hard turn or one, yeah, the one hard turn template. Uh, same uh, bit of uh, skills down there. So, yeah, pretty same. And then you've got Red uh, Squadron Veteran. No special ability. Pilot cost of 26. Then you've got the Blue Squadron Novice, pilot skill of 2, cost of 24. And then you go into the TIE Fighters here. You've got the Omega Ace, pilot skill of 7. The stats 2, 3, 3, 1. So um, it has shields now, which is pretty cool. And I think it has the same stats as uh, the other TIE Fighters and with, with regard to attacking and defending and haul. But uh, according to this, when attacking, you may spend a focus token and a target lock you have on the defender to change all of your results to critical results. That is just fantastic. That is amazing. Um, okay, so that's, that's worth 20 points, though. So definitely a uh, pretty cool pilot there. You've got Epsilon Leader, pilot skill is 6. Um, at the start of the combat phase, remove one stress token from each friendly ship at range 1. So coupled with Howrunner, 
wow, I can I can see this guy going places. Okay, so that's cost 19. You've got Zeta Ace, another unique pilot. When performing a Bayor roll, you may use the 2 template instead of the 1 template. You've got Omega Squadron. Uh, so nothing too fancy here. Cost of 17, pilot skill 4. Another Omega Squadron. You've got Zeta Squadron here. Pilot skill 3, cost of 16. Again, nothing too fancy. Um, okay, another Zeta Epsilon. Okay, these are the lowest ones. Pilot skill 1, cost of 15. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I mean, these TIE Fighters are obviously more expensive than their TIE, original TIE Fighter counterparts, but they've got shields. So that's pretty cool. Um, damage deck. Um, I didn't go through all of these, so I don't know what's all in here, but I'm assuming most of them are the same. You've got Blinded Pilot. You cannot perform attacks. Holy cow, I think that is a new one. After your next opportunity to attack, even if there was no target for an attack, flip this card face down. Uh, damage Cockpit. I do remember Damage Cockpit. Starting the round after you receive this card, your pilot skill is value is zero. Okay. Uh, stunned pilot. After you execute a maneuver, if you are touching another ship or overlapping an, an obstacle token, suffer one damage. Uh, console fire. I do remember that one from the core game. The start of the combat phase, roll one attack die on a hit result, suffer one damage, flip this card face down with an action. Damaged engine. Treat all turns as red maneuvers. Okay, damaged engine. Major explosion. Yeah, these are all ones that I'm familiar with. Uh, weapons failure. When attacking, roll one attack die. Um, on a hit or crit result, flip this card face down. Okay, what, roll one fewer attack die, I see. So, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen this one. That's a new one. Uh, we've also got major hull breaches. Structural damage. So, yeah, definitely cool new damage deck. I think we'll be using this. Um, as opposed to the other one. And of course you've got your direct hits in here somewhere, which basically does two damage against your hull instead of one. So that's a pretty cool uh, addition to the game. I like the fact that there is a new damage deck. And of course you've got uh, upgrade cards. And apologies here, it's difficult to do all this with one hand. But let's just take a quick look at some of these upgrade cards here and see what we can do. Uh, wired. Alright, this looks like... Okay, this is an elite talent. When attacking or defending, if you are stressed, you may re-roll one or more of your focus results. Oh, cool. And that only has a cost of one. You've got uh, BB-8 here. When you reveal a green maneuver, you may perform a free barrel roll action. That's pretty interesting. Um, this is another astromech. R5, X3. Before you reveal your maneuver, you may discard this card to ignore obstacles until the end of the round. Okay. And Proton Torpedoes, Now I'm not going to bother reading this off because it's standard from the core set. Weapons Guidance, uh, when attacking, you may spend a focus token to change one of your blank results to a hit result. Cool, okay, I like that as well. Okay, so as you can see, some of these upgrade cards are really neat. The pilots are really cool, so um, if you need like extra, like if, let's say you have the core set and you're a new player, and you have the core set and you haven't bothered getting a dice pack, you could get this, for example, and uh, get your six dice. I, I have uh, six red dice and six green dice at the moment, but now I have nine of each uh, because three of each came with this core set here. But if you're a new player, you could buy both core sets and then you could end up with two X-Wings and four TIE Fighters and be done with it. And also six dice, uh, six red and six uh, green. So yeah, there you have it. A quick look at the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Again, this is the Force Awakens uh, skin pack, for lack of a better term. Uh, and it comes with a Learn to Play book rules, reference, and a mission guide. So there is a mission in here if you want to do that. And then again, I'll cover these uh, expansions, the uh, T-70 X-Wing expansion and the TIE Fighter First Order expansion in other videos. So if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can keep up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.